Hey y'all, y'all know apple season has just kind of finished up and they've all gotten harvested so all our stores are just full and full and full of extra apples. I know I'll see these baggies out and I get all excited every year and I picked up a couple of them and I thought I'd hop on here today and make something called overnight apple butter and we might just make some applesauce too. But I got an assortment. I love to get different varieties. You can get one kind if you want to. But I have Fuji. I have Honey Crisp. I have Macintosh. I have Granny Smith. And Gala. So I have many. I like all apples. I do. So anyway, all I've got to do first, as you see, is peel, 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 peel. I'm going to peel and then chop and core get the cores out of course all of these apples and as i'm going i'll sit and watch other cooking videos professional cooking videos and if they're chopping a bunch of apples all those apples stay beautiful color in their big bowl and i'll think well how in the world is that because as long as it's going to take me in here y'all know they're going to start trying to oxidize on me and turn brown so I don't have a crew down here peeling with me. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm getting at. So what I thought I would do is pour a little bit of lemon juice in this big old bowl. Y'all gonna know where that bowl came from and it came from Tool City. I went with John shopping during the winter and he thought he was safe with me to go in Tool City but he was not. They had a whole kitchen section and I loved it course he didn't care I put me like a tablespoon down in there that I can kind of just keep these apples tossed in before I chop them so they won't try to oxidize on me and I'm gonna be peeling away and chopping away and if it's got any little bad parts on there you know you just cut those off with your knife like this has got a little soft kind of discolored part well I'm gonna cut that off with my knife just like that and I'm going to keep on a going, guys, and get my variety in here. I don't know how many I'm going to do today. Um, when I put the recipe in the description box on YouTube and under the title on Facebook, I'll put how many apples I did. But um, And, of course, when I come back on here, I'll tell y'all how many. Because the recipe I'm doing, you can start with as many as about 10 apples or 5 pounds but while i'm doing this i love to just make a ton of it so i might do 20 apples i don't know <laughs> but i will let you know when i get back on here what i've done <laughs> y'all watching all these apples and taking all these little stickers off y'all know those little stickers i've got a pile of them over here reminds me of a story and it's not a very well it's not a food story but john install septic systems and does maintenance on them he and i went 15 years ago and stayed up all night i was asking him questions and studying and studying and studying to get certified to go do it and uh so it was a project together but he goes and runs maintenance on these septic systems and it was last year i believe he had to go work on a sprinkler system septic system and that sprinkler system has a filter on it or a screen so when it sprinkles out in your yard it's supposed to be clean water and uh, so they called and said that it was stopped up the alarm was going off on the air pump and and water was trying to back up in their house so John went by to check it out for him it was not one he had installed but like I say he runs maintenance on it and they so John first thing he does is get that get to the filter and see what's clogging it see if that's the trouble well sure enough it was packed full of all of those stickers off of fruit just just the whole screen covered in stickers off of fruit well he came home of course he showed them and the woman blamed the man <laughs> typical huh it's all his fault he did that so anyway oh uh, John came home telling me that and I said how in the world because you know like just then I washed them and took stickers off and I'm gonna throw them in the garbage so I said what in the world I said are they eating fruit with the stickers still on it that's the only way I could figure that was happening 
And so I said, oh my goodness. And they were an elderly couple. And I said, maybe they can't see bless their hearts. And they're eating on these apples. And they're eating stickers with it. So, <laughs> so my, my thing I tried to learn from that is if I give any fruit... To some elderly people that's going to be eating on it. I pre-wash it. I did that with John's daddy. Um, he was in a rehab nursing facility for a while. And he loved fruit. Oh my goodness, he loved fruit. If he'd have been here right now, he'd been he'd been eating it as fast as I was peeling this. Even if it was a potato, he would want it. Give me a slice of that. Give me a slice of that. But, um, so if it's somebody elderly that they may not notice that there's a sticker on there or even be able to see it, i I wash that fruit and I get those stickers off too because <laughs> that's all I could figure for him bless his heart he's eating he's eating stickers I don't guess it's hurting much but well it was hurting the filter on the sprinkler system so anyway <laughs> I know that's not a food related story kind of but um it's just a funny when every time I'm peeling those stickers I think about that think about those that filter all stopped up I can tell you all kinds of stories about that, but uh, I wouldn't be able to call it a cooking show, would I? <laughs> no. I know it. I know it. That's just our business. We do a little bit of everything around here. We sure do. All right, y'all. I got one more pile of apples to peel, and then we're going to move on to this next step. So I'll see y'all back in a second. Next step, we've got to get these apples cored and chopped, don't we? I don't have an apple core. And I am not telling y'all that to be buying me an apple core. <laughs> Please don't. I'll get me one. I will, I will. So I just cut down like that. And I'm going to give my chickens all my apple peels. But I'm not going to give them my apple cores because I read when I first got my chickens. I got a book like Chickens for Dummies, you know, because that was me. Um with chickens and it said some of the app some of the seeds that you can feed them can be poisonous and bother them and one of them was apple seeds and i looked it up and did y'all know that apple seeds have a trace amount of something along the lines of cyanide in them i know isn't that crazy um it's traced you know you'd have to really work at it to get enough to do somebody in I believe <laughs> but it said that it can bother a chicken and especially can you imagine if I gave them all these apple seeds that might very well bother them huh so I won't do that but they'll love all these pills or you could actually bake those pills and dehydrate them and eat them yourself yes but I don't have time to do what I want to do with y'all in here let alone start dehydrating apple pills but <laughs> anyway um I just found that fascinating. I thought maybe that's why in that little fairy tale, the Wicked Witch gives um, Sleeping Beauty an apple to eat that makes her sleep like that. Maybe so. I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't know that till I got my chickens and I learned that. And I was like, wow. Wow, wow. It's so hard not to just sit here and eat apples, but I'm going to eat up my profits. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to be good. Sometimes I used to do that when I was younger. If I didn't want to eat while I was cooking, like if I was trying to lose weight, you know, then I would chew gum while I was cooking. And that helps me to, well, you don't put any food in your mouth, you know, while you're chewing gum. So I did that. I should have brought me some gum down here, huh? <laughs> right i know it all right i'm gonna keep chopping and i'll be back okay guys i told y'all i'll tell you how many that was 20 apples or somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to ten pounds okay so however many you want to do it's gonna be fine i'm not sure they're all gonna fit over in my crock pot either <laughs> right um let's see what we'll fit see what we can do I might have had to eat one or two chunks, guys. I'm going to confess. I'm going to fess up. I think I'm going to get them all in there. 
We're going we're gonna to make them fit, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be perfect. There we go. I know I saw one little escapee. He's, he's in there now. There we go. All right, guys. I'm going to just put this to the side for just a second right here with y'all. And up here, I've got my bowl. I like to mix everything in here before I pour it. A lot of people put it in there, but you see, I don't have enough room to stir it around, right? I know. So I'm going to start with one quarter cup of brown sugar. And when I just make applesauce, a lot of times I won't even put sugar because it's sweet enough. So you can put up to a cup if you want to of sugar or two cups. But I just do a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar. So that's up to you how sugary you like something, okay? But apples are so good and sweet on their own. And I'm going to do one half teaspoon of salt in there. And then I'm going to do one to two teaspoons of cinnamon. That's up to you. And cinnamon is optional. You could leave that out. Um, but I love it. I love it. I'll even sprinkle more cinnamon. I'm going to do about one and a half. How about that? I'll even put more cinnamon on top of mine when I'm eating it. Yes, I will. Um, let's see. What else do we need? We need some ground ginger. A quarter teaspoon and y'all also know that I chop fresh ginger and put it in a little extra jar and I cover with it with oil like a like a corn oil or a vegetable oil you could use coconut oil one that doesn't have a flavor so it doesn't take away from your ginger flavor so because I have that extra I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger that I just store bought and then I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of ginger ginger that's gonna be good isn't it <laughs> one of my little sister's names ginger and then I'm going to need a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice and if you don't have fresh lemon juice don't sweat it you use that bottle of lemon juice it'll be all right and then I need two cups of apple cider and if you don't have apple cider which it's everywhere now in the stores you can use um, apple juice if you want to and if you don't have either one of those you could actually just put some water okay but I love to just add more and more and more apple flavor this says it's honey crisp apple cider mm. I could just turn this whole jug up couldn't y'all it's so good and y'all I forgot to bring my nutmeg over here but we need some nutmeg and mine I grind and we need about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of nutmeg let me see if I can find that real quick okay <laughs> nutmeg oh nutmeg where are thee where are thee come here nutmeg jump out at me help me there you are there you are thank you let's see guys now i need my my grater here we go so sorry one of y'all wrote me the other day and said i seem so organized in here and you say you see i'm not <laughs> all right let's grind us some nutmeg and you don't have to use the fresh i just once you do you don't go back i tell you so i'm going to grind on this what i say a quarter to a half a teaspoon so you kind of just guesstimate you know it'll be all right I love this apple butter because um, it's turning evening time here I've been busy all day and I can put this on to cook and it's overnight so it's fantastic now I'm worried about it tomorrow morning right like scarlet tomorrow's another day and if it didn't, well, I won't be worried about it at all, will I? <laughs> all right, guys. Let's get this all whisked together really, really, really well. Let me put my nut bag back before he hits the floor. Many times he hits the floor. I'm sure y'all seen some videos where he hits the floor. And nut bag's optional. Cinnamon's optional. So just remember, you make this your own, okay? 
now y'all see why I like to mix it. Can you imagine sprinkling all that and then me trying to toss these apples? I know. I guess I could have in that big old bowl, but then I'll lose some of my stuff. Just like now. So let me get a spatula. I need a spatula for all this goodness, don't I? I know that takes more time, but I don't care. I'm not, I'm not wasting all that goodness just to cut out time. No, I'm not. Mm. That sure smells good, guys. All right, I'm going to put this in here. Put this lid on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And uh, he's extra full, isn't he? That's okay. I'm going to put this lid on. I'm going to turn this on high right now for two hours. So, you can't go to bed just yet. Like I say, I'm fixing to run off to church. It'll be just the right amount of time. And I'll come back on here with y'all. And we'll see what it looks like. And then we're going to turn it down on low and let it go all night while we sleep. So I'll see y'all back in two hours and be like a second to y'all. Hey y'all. Um, as y'all see it got night out there and I've been at church and it's been about two and a half hours. And we're and when I walked in this store of this canning kitchen, I called John and said, I'm stopping at the canning kitchen, check on our apples, and then I'll see you at the house. Um, when I walked in this door, it just smelled so good. Oh my goodness, it smelled good. And these um, apples have cooked down really well and they've been on high, so they've been bubbling. And how you can tell they're done, kind of like checking a potato. Um, if you put your knife in there and it just doesn't have any give to and it slips right back off, they're done. And that's what we're looking for at this point. You can put this in a food processor and blend it up. You can put it in a blender and, or you can use an immersion blender and you can actually make applesauce of this right now. That's the only difference is the time cooking. You can stop here, blend it, and you've got applesauce. Or we can let it cook overnight on low, which is what we're going to do. Yes, we are, and we're going to let it turn to apple butter for us. And that's the only difference is time and what it does. It concentrates it more, and it actually caramelizes it a little bit. It's the only, way, only thing that like differentiates it from being applesauce, okay? But right now, I want me a little bit of applesauce, so I'm going to try to immersion blend. Let's see if I don't mess up all of my... My, uh... There we go. All of my church clothes, huh? Uh-oh. I think I had unhooked it. Man, I'm on the struggle bus trying not to make a mess. I'm going to do this for a minute. If you don't have this, you can take um, just a potato masher and mash up your um, apples really good if you want to for them to cook down into the apple butter. I'm going to do this for a minute, guys, and try not to mess up my clothes. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back on here with y'all and show y'all what it looks like and how it's applesauce. <laughs> guys, it didn't take just a few minutes, a couple of minutes, and I've gotten it as smooth as I'm going to do it to get me some applesauce. You can leave it as chunky as you want to for applesauce or as smooth as you want. Alright. See if I can put that over there without making a mess. We got to taste this. We just got to, guys. We have to. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. I'm going to take some in and share with John, too. He's inside. I hadn't seen him since early this morning, and it's my goodness, it's 926. <laughs> it's time, isn't it? Y'all see it, how pretty it is? I'll come show y'all. I'm going to take some in and share with John our applesauce. And I think I'm going to put a little in a jar, too. And then we'll let the rest be apple butter. Let me come show y'all. All right, guys. Let me get the light over here. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that look good? Oh, it's so good. It smells like fall out here in this canning kitchen. 
Yes, it does. I don't know if y'all saw a minute ago when I came around to turn the camera off. I left this immersion blender in there and it said, Broop! and flipped off on the floor. I think I'll leave that on there just for kicks. This is steaming hot. Can y'all see it steaming? Mm. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful, wonderful applesauce. This is applesauce. Let's see. I'm going to get me a jar real quick and just save some. And the rest will do apple butter. Yes. Now you can jar this at this point and uh, can it if you want to. I'm just doing some in a jar. Y'all see I'm making a royale mess, aren't I? Just going to put some in a jar that you can eat with whatever you want to or just for a snack. I love it just for a snack in the afternoon. Just like this. I'm not going to use it all. I'm just getting some. There we go. I'll clean that up in just a second, guys. But now, at this point, after I've done some robbing, huh? <laughs> I'm going to put the lid back on. And what I love about this overnight apple butter is I don't have to babysit it. And I can sleep in peace because there's not a fire going. It's just this little crock pot. And all I've got to do is turn it down on low now. Turn it on low and it's going to cook 9 to 10 hours. And then this particular crock pot, after it cooks 10 hours is what I set it on, um, it'll go to warm and so I love that about this crock pot and then in the morning I'll meet y'all back out here and we'll see our apple butter then and we're gonna can it too I'm back um I want to do the unveiling with y'all because it smelled so good when I walked in here and something I did not mention yesterday to y'all if when you're leaving this overnight if you do not have a lid on your slow cooker that is already vented and what i mean by that see how mine's got this little hole right here and that lets the vapors escape and lets it condense down and the moisture cook out if you do not don't sweat that either um there's always another solution just kind of put your lid ajar or something i like to do is like take a spoon and you can just put it under there and it does a little vent just like that so you've got it vented that way it can let the moisture escape and condense down but I cannot wait to show y'all this I'm gonna get y'all down here to see it all right are y'all ready ta-da doesn't that look fantastic you see how dark and how cooked down it is oh it's beautiful Y'all know we're going to taste this, don't you? Yes. Oh, it's just beautiful. And it kept it on warm, so it's still nice and hot. Can y'all see that steam coming off of it? I hope you can. As a matter of fact, it's nice and hot. <laughs> I'm going to have to dip some out and let it cool a little bit. Ooh, and it's got a few little chunks in there, you know, because I just use that immersion blender. So it's some chunky and some smooth. So you do what you want with it. Mm. Like I was telling y'all, that applesauce that we stole out of here, um, it was much brighter, uh, fresh apple flavor. And as it cooks down overnight, it gets caramelized, this beautiful color and condenses. And so it just totally changes it. And some things that apple butter is good on is ice cream. Mm, so good. Um, it's good on top of pancakes or waffles. It's good to put it in your pancakes and waffles. Biscuits, toast, you know, just anything and everything. And I want to make some recipes with y'all. Put it in cakes. There's that caramelly flavor that I adore. Do y'all love caramel? I do too. And it is there. It almost tastes like caramel apple. Seriously. Mmm, 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 mmm. I know y'all didn't come on here to see me eat, so I'm going to quit that. Um, put my lid on, keep this warm, and I'm going to get my jars. 
um, sterilizing in some hot water over here. I got a package of jars, and these are that kind of that crystal cut. I thought they'd be pretty. Um, all jars are pretty to me, are they, y'all? <laughs> me too. So anyway, I'm going to get these sterilized, and I've got to cook them in uh, boiling water. I cook the lids, the twist tops, and the jars for about 10 minutes in some boiling water. And I am going to water bathe these to can these because I'm not real sure how much acidity uh, the apples would have. Um, you know, they don't have any vinegar in them or anything like that. And so I like to water bathe them. You don't have to pressure can apple butter or apple sauce but I am going to water bathe it and so I'll get back on here and show y'all how I do that just in case you hadn't seen I'll see y'all in a second okay guys I moved this over here to the stove near my can and jars and I put my crock over here for a little assembly line get y'all down here in case y'all haven't canned with us before I want to talk about it just for a sec okay so get us down here see if I can get everything in here I hope. Maybe I can back us up a little bit. There we go. Okay. If you find a canning set, you can look at grocery stores, Walmart, Amazon. I got mine at Thomas Nursery up in town. Um, it comes with the wide mouth funnel. It comes with this little stick with a magnet on the end for getting your lids and screw tops off. I love that. It comes with this little thing and it's got measures on it. To show you because we need a quarter inch of head space and that's just the space between the food and the lid okay so it will have room to seal and stay sealed okay and then it's going to give you a little jar grabber you can get out of the get it out of the hot water and when I was younger I did not have any of this and I just used a pair of tongs you know you can use these to get stuff out okay so don't think you can't can anything if you don't have this set but I, I splurged when my boys got older and I could get this set for myself and I just thought I was so fancy and y'all know I had to get me a purple ladle and it's got that little hook on it where it'll sit on your uh, pot if you're doing jelly or something I don't know if it'll sit on this crop so anyway let's get started y'all I've literally got y'all <laughs> over some dishwater <laughs> Y'all probably don't believe me, do you? Let me show y'all. Let me do down here. Y'all see that? Y'all are literally straddling the dishwater just to see over here. <laughs> I get tickled at our setup. I truly do. Truly. Let's see here. Can y'all see everything? I think you can. All right, let me fish us out a jar. I know y'all have heard me talk about before fishing out these jars and don't flip it around upside down because it did have these black handles on it and I was doing this these are about 20 years old I was in my double wide doing it and those black handles came off in the water and I realized I was using them upside down but that's that's dingy Amy for you so anyway don't do what Amy did but I still use them so so all right now we've got our hot jar and we're going to do our wide mouth funnel something else I do is I'll dip them down in this hot hot boiling water over there with the jars in it I mean I, it's washed and everything but I just kind of do that for a little extra insurance I do all my stuff that way and now I'm just kind of stirring about our beautiful apple butter I want to make some recipes with y'all I'd love to do some pancakes with y'all and I do want to make some cupcakes with y'all and y'all could do it as a cake cake if you wanted to I got on here and don't near about have everything I need let me grab us a couple of clean paper towels and my vinegar vinegar's great to use for this just don't get any over in there it might not taste good right Okay, I keep me a clean one to hold my hot jar to screw the lid on and then I get some vinegar on my other clean towel and you can use a washable towel too as long as it's clean and just run around the top of this lid and y'all saw it ought not have a thing in the world on it right oh it's hot but just in case now we know it's got a clean lid okay and I'm gonna take this 
Can y'all see me going over there? It is hard to tell on this camera. Truly it is. Truly! And I fish out and I try to fish out a lid and a screw top at the same time. I've done that sometimes and got two lids in there. But I figured it out before it was too late. Okay, guys. Now on there. And this is important. Do not over tighten this. Tighten it fingers tight. Just like that, okay? And that's it. Good to go. You don't want to screw it down too hard. You're going to break that little seal or it's not going to be able to seal and you don't want to tighten them after it's sealed and the seal is when this lid right now it's popped up a little bit and when it seals it's going to be down see like right now can y'all hear that i bet y'all can it's going up and down up and down up and down i don't normally touch that but i'm wanting to show y'all that when I come back and I check them all, if I'm not in here hearing them pop, I'll push. And if I cannot push it down, then I know it's sealed. And don't tighten it. My mom and daddy did it one time, and then they went back and they really tightened it after they had sealed. And it broke every single seal. So I'm always trying to tell that story because it ruined everything. It ruined everything for them. They were trying to make some pickles. Um, all right, guys. So I'm just going to get another just another and I'm gonna fill all these jars up I love to give lots of this stuff away for um, Christmas and so you see all our work of the summer and the fall people can benefit from right something else I wanted to talk to y'all about is y'all know I only put one half cup sugar in this whole 20 apples it was a quarter cup of white sugar and a quarter cup of brown sugar you can use whatever kind of sugar you want to you don't have to use the brown sugar i just like that little molassesy flavor it gives but when you taste it at this point before you go to jarring it or putting it up however you do if it's not sweet enough for you i don't like things overly sweet and so I like to just enjoy the sugar of the apples, but if it's not sweet enough, it is okay. At this point, you can add sugar because it's nice and hot and you stir it until it gets as sweet as you want to. Okay, y'all, it made three, six, nine, ten, and then it made one almost full one, but that's okay. I'm not going to can this one because we're going to make that in another recipe. Yes, we are. Real soon. Probably here in a few minutes after we get these going. So, um, I'm going to put these, you know, my canning pot I had over there with my jars in it. Well, I, it's got still got the hot water in it. And I do need to fish out the rest of my hot jars that I did not use. And I didn't do that before I got on here with y'all. Y'all please forgive me. I probably cut this part out. <laughs> Cut it out. There we go. Get on the lids. And I can just use this hot water that's in here. I don't have to pour it out. It's clean and sterile, isn't it? It just had these jars in there that were clean and getting sterilized. So, no harm. Woo! My finger dipped down in there and that was some kind of hot, guys. Okay, last one, last one, I promise. All right, y'all. Get y'all, let's see if I can get y'all down here on the pot so y'all can see. Oop, I like to drop y'all in the dishwater. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh my, 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 my. Is that a little closer? Okay, y'all. This over here. I'm going to turn my water back on, let it go right back to boiling. It's so hot it won't take long. And then in these canning pots comes this rack. And all I've got to do is water bathe this, um, this apple butter. I don't have to pressure can it. And you can just set it around in here, just like that. I'm going to put it down because it's kind of kind of scary, my little rack with these little jars. And I'm going to put them down in here and I'll show y'all what it looks like. I've got about two inches of 
water on top of my jars okay guys I'm having to drop them at some point because this is hot hot cha cha and I've already got my picker upper in the hot soapy dish water I do that to myself all the time and then I need my utensil again do y'all I do too all right I'm gonna come get y'all and show you Okay, guys I'm coming to get y'all y'all see that I've got about two inches of water on top of here maybe a little more now that I put all my jars in here but I'm gonna let it come to a boil and then I'm just gonna turn the fire off and I totally let mine cool down right there in the pot okay I don't even worry about getting them back 